Six nights away from Tardif. And tonight, it is champions versus challengers in a big time tag team main event as Sheamus teams with Tyler Bate to take on the Intercontinental Champion LA Knight and the WWE Champion Seth Freakin' Rollins. We are live tonight from the State Farm Arena, Hotlanta, Georgia, ready to kick things off on the road to Cardiff, Wales, Principality Stadium, and Clash at the Castle, live this Sunday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And kicking things off here in Atlanta, the WWE Women's Champion, the Nightmare, Rhea Ripley. Making her way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley been holding the WWE Women's Championship since she cashed in her Money in the Bank contract successfully last month. But she defends that gold for the very first time this Sunday night in Cardiff, Wales against the man Becky Lynch. And Rhea Ripley certainly made a statement last week after Becky Lynch's successful affair against Cora Jade here on Raw. We're going to take a look and break things down momentarily, but Rhea Ripley has really broke out in 2023. Always a dominant player, former champion, we know this. But ever since aligning with the Judgment Day, Rhea Ripley has taken back center focus of the women's division here on Monday Night Raw. And she's looking to drive that momentum full force into Principality Stadium this Sunday night and successfully retain her gold against the man Becky Lynch. But can she get through the upstart? Former NXT Women's Champion Tiffany Stratton here tonight in Atlanta, Georgia on Raw. Well, let's look at what happened last week here on Raw. Becky Lynch successful over Cora Jade, but Rhea Ripley striking Becky Lynch over the dome with her very own championship gold, sending a message to the man. Becky Lynch has got her long-awaited championship matchup. She's been scratching and clawing all year to get another round for the gold, and she meets the Nightmare Rhea Ripley this Sunday at Clash of the Castle. Tiffany Stratton, She's been on Raw for a couple of months now, and fortunately for her, she's yet to see success. She has fallen a couple of times to Becky Lynch herself, but now Tiffany Stratton set to go one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. And take nothing away from Tiffany Stratton. As we just mentioned, former NXT Women's Champion, only a couple of years, just over two years in this business so far for Tiffany Stratton. And now as she comes out of the gate, there you see that two years experience. A little bit naive to rush at the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. But welcome to Monday Night Raw. We are six nights away from Clash at the Castle. What a fun road to the Principality Stadium it has been over the last number of weeks. Monday Night Raw making a pit stop. The State Farm Arena sold out tonight in Atlanta, Georgia. Still to come in your main event. Champions and challengers that'll meet Sunday night. Meet early tonight. A Clash at the Castle preview in that tag team main event. It's the number one contender for the Intercontinental title. Tyler Bate takes on the number one contender, or excuse me, teams up with the number one contender for the WWE Championship, Sheamus. And they take on their opponents this Sunday in LA Knight and Seth Rollins. So here we go, Rhea Ripley, Tiffany Stratton open this up here on Raw, and so far not so hot for Tiffany Stratton. And again, she has made some waves here on Monday Night Raw, or has at least tried to, but has yet to see success. And as dominant and intimidating, quite frankly, as motivated as I'm sure Rhea Ripley is. Coming into this matchup tonight, ahead of her match with Becky Lynch on Sunday, Tiffany has certainly got her word cut out for her tonight. Rhea Ripley is looking to make a statement. 
hoping Becky Lynch is watching wherever she is, if she's in the building, if she's already in Cardiff, whatever the case may be. Rhea wants to remind Becky Lynch just what she is capable of. Rhea, my goodness. Remember one of the interesting things heading into the match on Sunday between Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch is the last time Rhea and Becky went one-on-one -on -one was back in the month of August here on Monday Night Raw, and Becky Lynch defeated Rhea Ripley. You gotta wonder if that is playing into the psyche of the nightmare. It's her first championship defense, and last time she met Becky, it was a loss. Maybe that's why Rhea was trying to get into the mind of Becky Lynch last week, possibly injure her ahead of the match. That clash at the castle with the championship over the dome. Gotta wonder what's going through Rhea Ripley's head regarding her championship defense on Sunday. Right now, Tiffany Stratton, the only thing going through her brain is how the hell am I going to survive this matchup? Oh, there's a shoulder block there. Able, able to knock Rhea Ripley off her feet, at least for a moment. A lot of emphasis behind that shoulder block to take someone with the power of Rhea off her feet. And now Tiffany trying to get back into this matchup. Man, what a win tonight it could be for Tiffany Stratton. First victory on Monday Night Raw, and it comes over the women's champion. Remains to be seen, not just yet. Tiffany could easily catapult herself to the front of the line, awaiting whoever leaves Clash at the Castle, whether it be Rhea Ripley or Becky Lynch, as the WWE Women's Champion. Rhea not able to get up there, or excuse me, Tiffany Stratton not able to get the three count there. But Stratton's smart to stay on the offense. The Nightmare Rhea Ripley is champion for a reason. She won Money in the Bank back in July for a reason. She has taken Raw by storm because of her dominance, her intimidation inside the squared circle. Tiffany is trying to survive and thrive under the pressure tonight. Oh, wait a minute, looking to steal the victory. Stack it up, Rhea Ripley, not just yet. Tiffany Stratton searching for the biggest win of her Monday Night Raw career, but Rhea Ripley is not here to play games. The eradicator of the Judgment Day, not looking to be a stepping stone in Tiffany Stratton's rise to superstardom here on Monday nights. Looking to stretch out the rib cage of Tiffany Stratton. Looking for the submission tap out here. Tiffany Stratton's got to get out of this. Couple of right hands will certainly help her. Nice takedown or reversal. The champion taking off her feet momentarily. And talk about a momentum derailer for Rhea Ripley. She takes a loss to Tiffany Stratton here tonight. We were already talking about the psyche heading in the match with Becky Lynch. Imagine what it's going to be if she does not get her hand raised tonight in Atlanta. Look at Stratton playing a game of cat and mouse, trying to get the Eradicator off her feet. There's no playing games with the woman who is at top of the division right now in the entire WWE. Sending Tiffany Stratton for a ride. Into the cover she goes, not just yet, Tiffany Stratton survives, and this may be Tiffany's best performance here on Monday Night Raw so far. Gotta give credit where it's due. Oh, wait a minute, Rhea Ripley. There you go, a riptide on Tiffany Stratton. Thanks for coming. Well, it was a hell of a performance by Tiffany, no doubt her best on Raw yet. But that first victory here on the red brand is gonna have to live to see another day because the Eradicator came to Atlanta with a purpose. Message sent to Becky Lynch. Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley laying out the man seven nights ago with the WWE Women's Championship across the skull. Tonight, a victory over Tiffany Stratton. And the Judgment Day's Eradicator has got a lot of momentum heading into Principality Stadium this Sunday night. But will that momentum drive her to victory, or will Becky Lynch capitalize and become the new Women's Champion? The next time we come your way with a live premiere event, a special joint production of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown, we are going international. Cardiff, Wales, Principality Stadium, it is WWE Clash at the Castle. And it is coming your way Sunday night, October the 22nd, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't miss this international extravaganza as Raw and SmackDown present Clash at the Castle.
Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here on Monday Night Raw. And I, I don't know what the hell's going on. Bobby Lashley was making his way to the ring. Looking for action. I believe he was I'm looking at my notes here. Assigned to fight Apollo Crews. But the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar is here at State Farm Arena. And he is ambushing the almighty. Well, things are breaking down ahead of their clash this Sunday night in Principality Stadium. The number one contendership to the WWE title will be on the line. Oh, we're going to need some more referees, some more staff and security out here because Lesnar and Lashley are picking up right where they left off seven nights ago. Lesnar laid out Lashley with three F5s last week. And Brock's looking for another advantage. We need some help out here. I don't know who the hell's going to keep these two animals apart. It's Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar. They fight for the number one contendership this Sunday night in Principality Stadium at Clash at the Castle. The next time we come your way with a live premiere event, a special joint production of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown, we are going international. Cardiff, Wales, Principality Stadium. It is WWE Clash at the Castle. And it is coming your way Sunday night, October the 22nd, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't miss this international extravaganza as Raw and SmackDown present Clash at the Castle. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here in State Farm Arena. Apollo Crews was, was set to face Bobby Lashley. It looks like that's off the table due to the events of moments ago. Shinsuke Nakamura is making his way down the aisle. It looks like Apollo Crews is going to have to recalibrate a plan. No longer going against the Almighty. He's got the King of Strong Style live from Hotlanta. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura! Well, I don't mean to deviate from Nakamura and Apollo Crews, but why it's the hot topic, let's take you back to last week on Raw. Bobby Lashley successful in the trilogy of matches against Carmelo Hayes. Brock Lesnar arrives. These two men are signed to fight this Sunday in Cardiff, Wales, one-on-one. -on -one. But things breaking down last week and Brock Lesnar not one, not two, but three emphatic F5s to the almighty inside the squared circle. Certainly a message sent by the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar who meets the almighty Bobby Lashley this Sunday night where the number one contendership to the WWE title will be at stake. Chaos moments ago, Bobby Lashley making his way down the aisle to meet Apollo Crews only to be Sneak attacked by the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. A Pier 6 brawl in the aisle way. Hopefully we got these men separated in the backstage area. Nonetheless, Apollo Crews thinking he was going to fight Bobby Lashley here tonight. Now has to rework the game plan because he's got the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Anything can happen here on Monday Night Raw and this is a perfect example of it. It's kind of interesting that Nakamura and Apollo Crews getting matched up with each other in the midst of the Lesnar and Lashley chaos. These two men were in the ring with, the, with, with each other, excuse me, a couple of weeks ago in the season premiere of Monday Night Raw alongside Kofi Kingston and Tyler Bate in that four-man elimination match to determine the number one contender to LA Knight's Intercontinental Championship. Of course, Tyler Bate hitting all three of the men, Apollo, Nakamura, and Kofi in that match. Triple sweep of eliminations, and Tyler Bate will face LA Knight this Sunday for the Intercontinental Championship. You of course see Tyler Bate in action in your main event in that Champion and Challengers tag team matchup as well. Let's focus in on the action at hand. Apollo Crews looking sharp against the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Apollo's had some opportunities at the IC title in the past. Nakamura, I'm sure, would love a fresh one. But Apollo Crews taking things to the air. Whole lot of talent in the arsenal of Apollo Crews. The agility, the power, but Nakamura with the striking ability as he caught Apollo Crews off guard there and just tackled him to the ground. Nothing pretty about it. Just mean offense. Shinsuke Nakamura, I'm sure he was called upon 
And that last commercial break real quick to hit the ring and fight Apollo Crews. So neither one of these men really having time to prepare tonight for this match here in State Farm Arena. Nonetheless, opportunities arise sometimes at the strangest moments. And a win tonight for either of these men could easily put them in at least the trajectory of maybe a future Intercontinental Championship match, something both men were hoping to achieve a few weeks ago in the season premiere of Monday Night Raw. Nonetheless, back inside the squared circle, Apollo Crews has got Nakamura down and out. But can he get the three count? Shinsuke Nakamura. Nice counter there. Nakamura's got a lot of history with the current Intercontinental Champion, LA Knight. They had a series of matches back in the spring and early summer, splitting the difference. But Nakamura, big time Death Valley driver against Apollo Crews. Into the cover, but not enough to get the three count. Close call there. Nakamura able to flip the switch, but not enough to get Cruz off his feet. Shinsuke looking to keep pedal to the metal. King Shasta! Into the ropes, off the ricochet, and the knee knocks out Apollo Cruz. Well, things can happen in the blink of an eye here on Monday Night Raw. Apollo Crews thought he had Bobby Lashley to no avail. He meets Shinsuke Nakamura inside the squared circle and Nakamura gets the best of them tonight here in Atlanta, Georgia on Raw. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. A big time victory for the King of Strong Style. You gotta wonder what is gonna be next for Shinsuke Nakamura here on Raw. Well, this Sunday in Cardiff kicks off a two-week international tour, and it continues next Monday night as Raw is live from London, England, where Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are set for tag team action next week in the United Kingdom. Also coming your way next week on Raw, it is a London street fight. Tommaso Ciampa, Karrion Cross. Issues brewing between these two men for weeks here on Raw. They're going to settle the score next week. London street fight in the middle of the O2 Arena. What a fight that it's going to be. Clash at the Castle again, kicking off a two-week international tour. London, England, Dublin, Ireland, Air Scotland, Glasgow, Scotland. Excuse me, it's going to be a great couple of weeks here for Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. But we are set to continue here in Atlanta as Kofi Kingston goes one-on-one -on -one with the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest. A lot of history between the New Day and the Judgment Day as of late. And his opponent, accompanied by Finn Balor, representing the Judgment Day. From New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian Priest. Well, let's take you back to two weeks ago here on Raw, the Judgment Day in tag team action against Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. This is the first time Balor and Priest were in duos affairs since losing their tag team titles back in Unforgiven last month. But the luck continued to not be on the side of the Judgment Day as there you see the trouble in paradise and Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods picking up a huge victory over the Judgment Day. We have talked about in recent memory, the New Day not looking to sit in the back of the line anymore. They're out to remind everybody just what they have done in this industry. And they're out to climb their way back to the top of the mountain and become the tag team champions all over again. And so far, that rise back to the top is coming at the expense of the former world tag team champions and Finn Balor and the man Kofi Kingston sees tonight, Damian Priest. And things have just not been on the side of Priest and Balor as of late. Again, that bad luck really starting for those two men. Back at Unforgiven last month, where they lost their World Tag Team titles to Butch and Ridge Holland of the Brawling Brutes. Things continued for Priest and Balor. Remember, they were two of the men who Sheamus fought in his gauntlet match back at the season premiere of Raw. Both men being handed losses on that night. And then the following week, the Highlights you just saw a moment ago against the New Day. As Kofi Kingston's looking sharp in the early moments of this matchup, you gotta wonder if Damian Priest has got what it takes or if he is in his own head. Can he turn things around tonight for the Judgment Day or is the bad luck gonna continue for the Archer of Infamy and the Prince in Finn Balor? 
All remains to be seen, but I'm sure Kofi Kingston, as we have been discussing, not looking to be the stepping stone in the reemergence of the Judgment Day in the tag team division. Kofi Kingston is looking great in this matchup so far. Wait a minute. Finn Balor up on the apron, taking Kofi's eye off the ball. If there's one thing we know about the Judgment Day, not afraid to use an underhanded tactic when need be. Damian Priest in the snap of the fingers, thanks to the help of Finn Balor getting back into this matchup, and Priest off the springboard knocks Kofi off his feet. And all this talk about the World Tag Team titles, those championships gonna be on the line this Sunday night in Cardiff as Butch and Ridge Holland from Monday Night Raw defend against SmackDown's Legado del Fantasma, Cruz del Toro, and Joaquin Wilde. My goodness, Damian Priest just kicked Kofi Kingston all the way to London next week on Raw. Damian Priest just continuing this onslaught on the outside of the ring, obviously fired up tonight. We're gonna bring out a different side, if you will. They don't call him the punishment of the Judgment Day for nothing. Kofi Kingston is feeling the wrath firsthand, but Kofi gonna turn things around. Here comes Kofi with the rushing leg sweep, and Kofi's looking good in this matchup. The New Day have been sharp as of late. Can they continue tonight on Raw? Xavier, we're doing commentary over here. Kofi Kingston now with a little boom drop on Damian Priest. And Kofi into the cover, and oh, wait a minute. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Off screen, Finn Balor, I believe, is up on the apron, and the referee's eye is being taken off the ball. Oh, come on, Kofi Kingston getting screwed over here. Now the ref's back in position, into the cover. And Kofi probably had this matchup won off the boom drop had it not been for Finn Balor getting involved yet again. And Kofi not gonna complain, just gonna keep pushing forward. And Kofi sending Damian Priest over the top rope. And wait a minute here, the wheels are spinning. Kofi Kingston not afraid to take things to the sky. Big time maneuver over the top rope. Crushing down on Damian Priest at ringside. Kofi Kingston flying with style tonight. Damian Priest, he, he showed some signs of life. He can't say he had him, but Kofi Kingston is controlling the majority of this matchup here tonight in Atlanta. Off the top of the crossbody, into the cover. Will that do it? Not just yet. Priest getting the shoulder up. Kofi Kingston looking good. You remember about a month and change ago here on Raw, Kofi Kingston went one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Champion, Seth freaking Rollins, and Kofi pushed Rollins to his limit on that night. Willing to do the same with Damian Priest, all in the means of reclimbing the ranks of the tag team division. Counter by Kofi again and an Insiguri. Priest is struggling to find an answer. Kofi heads to the top rope. Coming down hard with the splash. Right on the rib cage. And now what? Kofi off the springboard and again just using his own body as a weapon. And now mounts the cover. Lateral press on Damian Priest, but Priest is still in this fight. And Kofi Kingston motivated as all hell to continue this momentum. Damian Priest desperate for victory tonight, as once again the Judgment Day gonna use the numbers game. As Priest comes from behind, muscling up Kofi, and Kofi sends for a ride down on the canvas. And just like that, the mood just changed in the middle of State Farm Arena. That's gonna do it. No, Kofi Kingston survives, never count him out. Balor might have taken his eye off the ball, but Damian Priest, wait a minute, going south of heaven on Kofi Kingston. Kofi put up a hell of a fight. Oh, man! But don't count him out yet. Kofi's still in it. South of heaven does not bring a conclusion to us this evening. And Priest, I think, was going for a second one. Kofi able to reverse it. Stack it up, Priest, and he almost stole it there. Kofi going for a shot. Both men just trying to nail blows, and Damian Priest gets the best of them. Kofi Kingston was swinging wildly. 
possibly desperation strikes that he was looking for. Feeling the fatigue off the south of heaven moments ago. But now Kofi off the ropes. What a match we are witnessing here in Atlanta between Kofi and Damian Priest. Kofi Kingston showing his intestinal fortitude, able to survive some of Damian Priest's best offense here. Now some of Kofi's best offense in return. Kofi Kingston, a veteran of the squared circle. We're seeing why tonight, the resilience of this man as he goes for the cover again, but Priest once again pops the shoulder off the canvas. Oh, and once more, Finn Balor. Look at this, it's just like he's waving, it's like he's a cheerleader at ringside, just waving and screaming at Kofi Kingston, just trying to take Kofi's eye off the ball. Damian Priest, wait a minute, getting caught at ringside, Kofi Kingston said, I had enough of this conversation, Finn. I gotta take care of Damian Priest. Priest sent back inside the squared circle. He's looking on roller skates right now, and Kofi Kingston with a trouble in paradise into the cover. Kofi Kingston continues to rise the New Day's reign. What a victory here tonight on Raw. The reemergence of the New Day continues after an exhilarating contest. Kofi Kingston secures victory over Priest. Here is your winner, Kofi. Well, the bad luck spell for the Judgment Day continues, but there's gonna be a party in Hot Atlanta tonight. Xavier Woods, Kofi Kingston, the New Day is looking good here on Monday Night Raw. We are live this Sunday night, October the 22nd at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Principality Stadium, Cardiff, Wales, Clash at the castle. And what a night it is going to be. Discussed moments ago, the WWE World Tag Team Championship on the line. The Brawling Brutes, Butch and Ridge Holland defend the gold against Legado Del Fantasma's Cruz Del Toro and Joaquin Wilde. The big strong boy, Tyler Bate, has been on a roll here on Monday Night Raw, but can he keep that momentum rolling in to clash the castle and take down LA Knight for the Intercontinental Championship? We'll see the result this Sunday night in Cardiff, Wales. From Friday Night SmackDown, it is an all-star collision for the United States Championship. The franchise, John Cena, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. What a contest this is gonna be for the red, white, blue, and gold. These two monsters coming to blows earlier tonight, but they will meet from bell to bell this Sunday. The almighty Bobby Lashley, the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar, a future opportunity at the WWE title is on the line. For Austin Theory, it is all about proving he can defeat the rated R superstar Edge. Theory has never defeated Edge in one-on-one -on -one action. He gets that opportunity this Sunday night, but the rated R superstar looking to keep his streak alive. WWE Women's Championship is on the line as the Nightmare Rhea Ripley, who was successful at the top of the hour over Tiffany Stratton, meets the man Becky Lynch. And after laying out Becky with the gold last week, you gotta believe the man is gonna be motivated to take down the Nightmare. It is the Friday Night SmackDown main event for the World Heavyweight Championship. Randy Orton has been waiting for months for his one-on-one -on -one affair. He gets his wish this Sunday against the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. And from Monday Night Raw, it is the last man standing match. Sheamus has waited since Seth Rollins put him on the shelf all those months ago for his retribution. He can get his retribution as well as the WWE Championship if he can succeed this Sunday night, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Principality Stadium, Cardiff, Wales, Clash at the Castle. But tonight, it's Monday Night Raw. It's Atlanta, Georgia. But it is also Fight Night. And it's main event time, live on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. 
Back in May, Sheamus was put on the shelf by the WWE Champion Seth Rollins. Sheamus came back with retribution in mind, unfortunately failed in his pursuit of that retribution as well as the WWE title last month at Unforgiven. But after running the gauntlet, earning himself another opportunity, he meets the Visionary in a last man standing matchup this Sunday night in Principality Stadium. But tonight, he's got a tag team partner. And his partner from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. We said moments ago that the big strong boy himself, Tyler Bates, has been on a hot streak, a roll here on Monday Night Raw. We talked about it earlier tonight. He defeated Apollo Crews, Kofi Kingston, and Shinsuke Nakamura in a four-man elimination matchup back on the season premiere of Raw to gain his number one contendership. But just two weeks ago in the main event, possibly the biggest win of Tyler Bates' career as he defeated the WWE Champion. No bells and whistles about it. Clean as a whistle, if that. Defeating Seth Rollins inside the middle of the squared circle. And if that doesn't tell you that LA Knight has got his hands full this Sunday night, then I don't know what will. The first ever NXT United Kingdom champion is looking to walk back into familiar soil, Cardiff, Wales, and he's looking to leave as the Intercontinental Champion. Now that is this Sunday. Tonight it's champions versus challengers, and it's a tag team main event in Atlanta, Georgia. Since winning the gold back in July, LA Knight has put aside Ilya Dragunov, Cedric Alexander, and Sami Zayn in Intercontinental Championship defenses. But can he keep down the big strong boy, Tyler Bate? We will find the answer to that question this Sunday night. We well, want to talk about a hot streak. You got to give credit where credit's due, because it's been quite some time since LA Knight has seen the feet here on Monday Night Raw. That is the reason he wears the Intercontinental Championship around his waist. One of the best of the best. One of the faces of the red brand. And he's defending that position this Sunday night in Cardiff, Wales. But LA Knight has got one hell of a tag team partner. The smug attitude. The arrogance. Yet sometimes the brilliance of the WWE Champion, the visionary, the revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins. And from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the WWE Champion, Seth. A common phrase we used in the lead up to Rollins and Sheamus' battle at Unforgiven last month was that Seth Rollins made the bed and now he was gonna have to sleep in it. Well, last month in Chicago, Seth Rollins outlasted the Celtic Warrior and by God was it an absolute war, no doubt about it. It was not an easy task for Seth Rollins to keep down Sheamus, but in the end, he did the damn thing and left Allstate Arena on that night as the WWE Champion. Sheamus made his way through three rounds of a gauntlet matchup. And if that doesn't tell you how bad Sheamus wants to get his payback on Seth Rollins and take away the most important thing in his life, the WWE title, I don't know what will. We got a lot of questions to be answered this Sunday in Cardiff, but tonight it's an early preview. Champions versus challengers. Massive tag team main event here in the middle of State Farm Arena, Atlanta, Georgia on Monday Night Raw. Sheamus kicking things off with the Intercontinental Champion, LA Knight. As Sheamus showcasing his power here. And you know, with every move and every strike that Sheamus throws at LA Knight, it is a direct message to the man standing in the corner, the WWE Champion, Seth Rollins. Sheamus and Rollins got a lot of history running deep throughout Monday Night Raw this year. 
And Sheamus is looking to bring it all to a close and leave Principality Stadium holding the richest prize in the industry, the WWE title. What a moment it could be in Cardiff, Wales this Sunday. All remains to be seen as Sheamus tags in Tyler Bate. Tyler Bate now the legal competitor with the Intercontinental Champion LA Knight. And now we officially get an early preview at the two men who will clash for said Intercontinental Gold on Sunday night in Cardiff. Off the early shooting star and Oh man, referee's gotta be sure that things don't break down in the early going of this matchup. A lot of tension rising high. Here tonight on Monday Night Raw, so close to Clash at the Castle. You gotta believe this tag team main event is gonna break down at some point. As Tyler Bate looking sharp against LA Knight and he tags in the WWE Champion, Seth freaking Rollins. Again, as we mentioned, Tyler Bate, he defeated Seth Rollins one-on-one -on -one two weeks ago here on Monday Night Raw. Rollins trying to brush it off, saying he was thrown off his game because of the brawl with Sheamus before the bell. And yes, that was a lot of chaos before Rollins had to enter a match with a fresh Tyler Bate. But in the end, Tyler Bate got the victory. He got the 1-2-3 over Seth freaking Rollins. You gotta wonder if Seth Rollins is looking to exact some retribution of his own tonight. Get his win back in a sense over Tyler Bate here in this main event. Now Sheamus getting tagged in, and we are back where we were at Unforgiven, the brawl a few weeks ago, and the two men who will clash on Sunday in last man standing. Sheamus going after Rollins, and Rollins wanted none of it. Seth Rollins wanted none of the number one contender, so he tags in LA Knight, and his result leads to the same. LA Knight taken down by Sheamus. Getting called between a rock and a hard place that time. Now the Intercontinental Champion Drops down and drops an elbow. Massive momentum is on the line. You do not want to take a loss six nights ahead of championship defenses or championship opportunities, whichever way you look at this matchup. Nobody is wanting to see their hands not raised high tonight in Atlanta. Imagine that what that would do for your psyche. Imagine what that does for your momentum as Sheamus took care of LA Knight and decides to turn his sights to the young legal competitor in Seth Rollins. And Sheamus is itching to get his hands on the WWE Champion, but he's got to remain focused. Sheamus cannot be overzealous, cannot let his aggression and his, his anger towards Seth Rollins derail his plan tonight here on Monday Night Raw because LA Knight was trying to take advantage and Sheamus made him pay. High stakes, high reward, momentum on the line. Thank you for joining us so far. Here tonight on Raw, you just feel the energy in the air. Blood pressure rising to an absolute high here tonight. So close to Clash at the Castle again. We will be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time this Sunday night. It's going to be an epic event, one of our most stacked cards of the year. Could end up being one of our biggest premium live events of the year. It's LA Knight stacking up Tyler Bate that time. And what about what happened earlier tonight? Just a Pier 6 brawl between the almighty Bobby Lashley and the beast incarnate Brock Lesnar. Remember what's on the line for those two men. A future opportunity at the WWE Championship. As LA Knight air raids crash, we gotta hold that thought because this match may be coming to a close, not just yet. Air raid crash by the Intercontinental Champion to no avail. But LA Knight, look at this. Little combination strikes on the big strong boy. And LA Knight taunting his stuff in the middle of State Farm Arena. Thought he had Tyler Bate off the air raid crash, but LA Knight better come in with an A plan, a B plan, a C plan this Sunday night. If he's been watching closely, he knows the role Tyler Bate has been on. Tag made to Seth Rollins, and the champion's working like a well-oiled machine right now. And now Rollins heading to the top rope. Wait a minute, Seth Rollins hitting Tyler Bate's own corkscrew on the number one contender for the Intercontinental title. Sheamus breaking things up as Seth Rollins was trying to use one of Tyler Bate's own maneuvers to score the pinfall tonight. One of the maneuvers that aided Tyler Bate in victory two weeks ago against the WWE Champion. You saw the landing there as well. Tyler Bate was trying to roll out of the way. Rollins landed right on the lower back of Tyler Bate. 
a tag made to the Intercontinental Champion. And once again, these two champions working very well with each other. And Tyler Bate trying to get out of this predicament that he's in. Feels himself starting to fall behind in this tag team main event. But LA Knight looking to continue the offense. Tyler Bate struggling to gain control, but never count out the big strong boy. What a kick, like a tomahawk chop with his own boot to LA Knight. And here comes the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, officially the legal man in this match. Now wait a minute. Could be going for the Celtic Cross, and LA Knight had it scouted. Now wait a minute. LA Knight tagging in Rollins, and you see Sheamus allowing that tag, wanting to get his hands on the WWE Champion. Rollins oh, probably thought Sheamus was down and out and he was gonna have an opportunity to sneak up on the Celtic Warrior, but not just yet. Sheamus is throwing haymakers, live rounds in the middle of this tag team main event here tonight on Raw. Imagine how good it will feel for Sheamus to defeat Seth Rollins tonight ahead of the WWE Championship match this Sunday. Down goes Rollins with a little white noise into the cover. But LA Knight not even going to allow a one count. Sheamus pulling out the heavy hitters. But the numbers in this matchup certainly going to make things a little bit more difficult to gain victory. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. LA Knight grabbing Sheamus from behind and just hung him up in the middle rope. Absolutely unnecessary assault by the Intercontinental Champion. Rollins turned his sights to Tyler Bate and Sheamus going after the Intercontinental Champ LA Knight himself. We said things were going to start to break down. We expect nothing less in this tag team matchup as Rollins and Sheamus are the only two men standing at the moment. Bro kick into the cover. Oh, no, Rollins kicked out. Sheamus with the brogue, but Seth Rollins able to survive. Well, Atlanta, Georgia coming unglued for the effort that these four men are putting into this main event contest ahead of Clash at the Castle this Sunday. Now, Rollins looking for the victory, not just yet. Neither team, neither the champions nor challengers looking to see defeat before their championship matches this Sunday night in what is going to be a sold-out Principality Stadium in Cardiff, Wales. Tag made to the Intercontinental Champion, LA Knight. Rollins may be rocked after that broke kick a few moments ago and looking to rest up. LA Knight looking for the victory, not just yet. Man, imagine, we got Sheamus and Rollins on Sunday for the WWE title. The winner of that match gonna be lined up to fight the winner of Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley in the near future for the WWE Championship. The main event scene certainly picking up some business here on Monday Night Raw, to say the least. What about everything else happening this Sunday? Of course, the Intercontinental title matchup between LA Knight and Tyler Bate. The United States Championship matchup from SmackDown as the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes takes on WWE's newest free agent in the franchise, John Cena. The World Tag Team titles on the line, the Brawling Brutes in an interpromotional battle against Legado Del Fantasmas, Cruz Del Toro, and Joaquin Wild from SmackDown. The man, Becky Lynch, she's been chomping at the bit all year long, trying to gain another opportunity at the WWE Women's title. And after a win against Asuka last month and Unforgiven, she finally worked her way back to the front of the line. She meets LA Knight, or excuse me, she meets LA Knight. She meets Rhea Ripley for the Women's Championship on Sunday. LA Knight's putting the beating on Sheamus right now. What about SmackDown's main event for the World Heavyweight Championship? Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre. A lot of history between those two men, dating back several years here in the WWE, but a lot of history just over the last few months on Friday Night SmackDown. Orton's been waiting to get that one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Finally gets against McIntyre in Cardiff, Wales this Sunday. Such a stacked event it is gonna be on Sunday night, 5 p.m. Eastern time. We will be live for Clash at the Castle for one of our biggest cards of the year. From a fan's perspective, may end up being our biggest and best live premiere event of 2023. Wait a minute. 
Focusing on the action back inside the ring. Sheamus turns his attention to Seth Rollins and it cost him as LA Knight laid him out with that hangman's neck breaker. The Intercontinental Champion back in control. You see the pace has started to slow down in this match. LA Knight trying to beat down the champion. Is she being the number one contender? A bro kick by Sheamus. But Sheamus not going for the cover just yet. He turns his attention to Seth Rollins. Sheamus' anger and his frustration towards the WWE Champion may be his biggest detriment as it just cost him the victory over LA Knight. Sheamus has got to get that anger in check. He's got to stay focused. He comes in, a blades of glory like that against Seth Rollins on Sunday night. Rollins may find a weak point, may find a window of opportunity to take advantage of Sheamus seeing red. And Rollins will leave as the WWE Champion if that is the case. Sheamus needs to stay focused. Same thing goes for tonight on Raw. Sheamus rolling up the champion. Not just yet. Man, what a tag team main event we are witnessing here in Atlanta between the champions and the challengers of Head of Clash at the Castle. What a road it has been to Cardiff, Wales over the last five weeks. Business picking up on Monday Night Raw, and it all comes down to this. Rollins starting to unload on Celtic Warrior Sheamus right now. Trying to do a number on Sheamus, who desperately needs a tag, and he makes it to the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. But Rollins... Going after Tyler Bate. He wants that win back from two weeks ago that Tyler Bate took over him here on Raw. Tyler Bate is down. He's trying to come in a Blades of Glory. Seth Rollins looking to change the mood. Oh, but Bate with the overhead kick. And another Insiguri. Tyler Bate picking up momentum in a shooting star press. Here comes the big, strong boy. Tyler Bate motivated as all hell. Seth Rollins rolling to the outside, trying to create some distance, but Sheamus sitting there waiting for him. Tyler Bate taking care of the Intercontinental Champion in LA Knight. Man, what a match we got on hand here on Monday Night Raw. Wait a minute, Tyler Bate. Kick to the gut. Bate takes out Rollins the same way he beat him two weeks ago. He did it again! He did it again! Tyler Bate has gone two for two, and he just pinned the WWE Champion, Seth freaking Rollins. My goodness, what a main event, and what a conclusion here tonight in Atlanta, Georgia. Here are your winners, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus and well, maybe Sheamus has brung some of that Irish luck onto Tyler Bay. I don't know, but the big strong boy riding a wave of momentum. Oh man, what is gonna happen? We are live this Sunday night, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Tyler Bay, LA Knight, one-on-one -on -one for the Intercontinental Championship. Sheamus meets Seth Rollins in the last man standing match for the WWE title. Business pick it up here on Raw. We are live from London, England next week, but we will see you this Sunday night in Cardiff. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.